Yo, how's it going everyone? It's Ice Grenade here and today you're going to be learning how to make your own custom skyboxes. So this is a pretty crazy one we got going on here. And yeah, let's let's learn how to do this. So the first thing you want to do is go up to the top of your map until you find this sun volume. It's one of the most out of boxes in your map apart from the skybox itself. So this sun volume, you're going to want to select it. It's the one with all the little suns on it and then press N for November to bring up the entity info and you'll see here I have SSI1 Nebula. You will probably have default day if you haven't set one already and basically whenever you change the skybox you're going to want to build the light and that's just going to set the stops and everything to the right value so it looks right. I'm going to press F and I'm going to go down to the geometry and just hide the sky and what that's going to do is going to hide the big blue box at the top so you can actually see what's going on better. Okay so I'm going to press N for November and you can actually click here and the three little dots and you have all of these different sky boxes you can pick from. Not all of them work, but a fair bunch do. So if we do MP Redwood, I'm going to go check that out now. It's just loading in. There we go. And we can hit the lightning bolt and you can see it sets everything right. We got this crazy skybox here now and it looks pretty cool. So why don't we just hide some of these things so you can see it better. Okay. So this is how you change the skybox. And there's a whole load of skyboxes out there and some really good ones. So you really want to go through all the different skyboxes and check them out because there's probably one that already exists for exactly what you need. So I'm just going to go MP Spire, for example. OK, I'm going to let that load in. That one's broken, I see. So we can do a different one, maybe ZM Zod, see what that's about. OK, then we're going to build the light. Oh, this is a pretty dark and eerie one. OK, so the next thing is if there isn't a skybox here that suits you, you probably want a custom skybox. And we're going to walk through exactly how you do that. So you want to go open up Ape, Ape Asset Property Editor. So you can get that by going to launcher and clicking on the monkey there. Then when he's open, you're going to want to go down here, deselect everything and only have GDTs selected and type in SSI. Then you'll have all of these different options, but you're just going to want to close those down. You could even press the minus button here and then you'll find SSI. You want to click that and you want to copy one of these. I would suggest copying the default day. What you can do is you can right click do duplicate, name it whatever you want. So we're gonna do rainbow two and do okay. And then we're gonna do cut, okay? The next thing we wanna do is do new DDT and do SSI underscore custom. I've already done it, so just hit save on there. And when you've done that, go to your SSI custom, right click on it and do paste asset and that new asset will be in there, the one that we just copied across. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is copy the skybox. So if you type in default and you'll find skybox default day clear, and if you just right click on it and do duplicate and you can call it skybox rainbow two for example and we can cut it and go up to the ssi custom and do paste and we're just going to put everything in the ssi custom so the next thing we want to copy is the skybox default day clear and if we just do duplicate and we do skybox rainbow two and we want to give it a different name so we're just going to put ft because that's the standard format and then we're going to do cut go up to our ssi custom and do paste asset and we also want to copy the material if we go to the material and go to material skybox default day clear and we want to do duplicate and we just want to call it material skybox rainbow 2 okay and now we want to cut the material we just made cut go up to ssi custom and paste asset Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to want to go uncheck the name filter and check the GDT and we'll go to the custom SSI that we've created and we'll go down and you'll see the new assets that we have here. So we have the Rainbow 2 SSI or whatever you've named it. That is the information file that is setting up the Skybox itself. We have the model here, the Skybox Rainbow 2, which is a copied model. We have the image for the model here and we have the material for the model here. And now here's the important part. This is the order that you need to complete it in. So the first thing you're going to want to do is set your own image for the Skybox Rainbow 2 in this instance. And you're going to need an EXR. So the next step is to go online and I found this image here. 
but what you can type in is go on Google and you want to type in Skybox and you want to go to image tools and you want to set the size to exactly 8192 and 4096. This is going to give you images that will work as a Skybox. So there aren't many here, there's only a few and I'm just using a random one for example, but you may wish to go on all and look for skyboxes that are spheres. There are different types of skyboxes, ones where there are image, 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 which is like a literal box that have the different images. But in this case, we're doing it with a sphere. So once you've found an image and there are websites out there, you're gonna find down in the description where you find a few, but generally you wanna have a look to find a good one. So you can see the other thing I've searched is sphere in Google on images with the same tool set. And we can go down and you see these ones that look a little warped like this, but that's what you want because that will display normal in view. So there's a town here, there's out in desert here, there's foresty uphill beach, and there's all sorts going on. There's a fiery forest here. Basically pick one that suits you, make sure the licenses is right, and you're gonna wanna save it as an EXR. So the first thing you would wanna do is if you own Photoshop, is save the image, open up an EXR image in Photoshop, change the dimensions to 8192 by 4096, and then to put the new image into that and to save it as the EXR, and to put the EXR in your texture assets folder. The alternative is to use a converting tool. So say that we find an image here, so I'm gonna do that now. We got this one here and it's just loading in. So we can do save image and I'll call this one rocks. And the next thing we wanna do is convert the JPG to the EXR. And you're gonna find this website here called image.online-converter and you can actually browse for the image that you've downloaded. And we saved it as rocks. So if I just type in here, rocks. Okay, so we've set the rocks there and we can do convert file. And what it's doing is converting it from a JPEG into an EXR, which is the accepted format in eight. So we've done that processing and it's going to begin to download. This might take a little time because EXR files are extremely huge. So there we go, 192 megabyte. So if we just save that file and it's downloading now, I'm gonna get back to you when it's downloaded. One thing I would like to say is it's much better if you do own Photoshop and you can actually open up an existing skybox. Okay, so that's downloaded. And if we go to it, we'll find it here, rocks.exr in the downloads. I'm going to cut the image and go over to the texture assets. So if you go to your Call of Duty Black Ops 3 route, go to texture assets, and I've created a subfolder in here called custom and another subfolder called sky. This is where I keep my custom skybox images in here. So I put the rocks EXR image here, and now we're gonna go back to eight. We're gonna set up the new skybox. So first thing we wanna do is go to the image. In this case, it's the skybox rainbow two, and we're gonna wanna change this path here. So you can click on the three dots, and go over to the root and we saved it in texture assets custom sky and we want to change the file type here and select rocks give that a few seconds to populate because it's a gigantic file so it's going to take a few moments for ape to just cache that in properly okay so the next thing you want to do is change the image type and we're going to want to select the texture option and save it there and you can also set the high resolution as well okay the next step is to go to the material skybox promoting or the material that you've just created and we want to scroll down and type in the name of the material that you've just created so in this case it's the skybox rainbow 2 okay so we've set the image and we set the material so the next thing to do is set the material to the model so if we go to the skybox rainbow 2 and we go down here to the skin override we're going to want to type in the material name mtl skybox rainbow 2 in this particular example and do save now we've overrode the skin with the material and we want to go to the rainbow 2 sky document and just set the skybox model so type in sky box 
rainbow two okay do control s to save that or click save all up here and now we just need to go in radiant and apply the new model okay so we still have our sky selected if not go up to the top and select all the suns which will select the skybox volume then over here on the right if you don't see this window press n for november go to the ssi setting click on the three little dots and type in the name of the skybox in this case we called it rainbow two so all we have to type in is rainbow two or select it from the option above and hit okay you'll see that it's very bright or it might be very dark for you now you're going to need to hit the lightning bolt and it's just going to pull in the changes okay so there we go there we have it we have the new skybox in with all the rocks around in this example everything's quite close these rocks here they look gigantic so you're going to probably want to pick one that looks further away and it, you might need to play with some different images. But the good thing with this is now you only need to download and save the image as an EXR and then put it in the folder. And then when you're in eight, you can change the image here to the new image and it will update it. So if we change this to the rainbow image, for example, and make sure that the file format is set to all files, and we're gonna pick rainbow two and just hit save on there. And when we go back into Radiant, you'll see it's already loaded in, but this time it's too dark. So we can click on the lightning bolt and it's just gonna brighten it up a little bit. There we go. So now you can see everything looks a bit further away and this is a pretty crazy guy box that we've got going here. But yeah, just play around with it and you'll have something awesome in no time. To to get it looking even better you can go into ape and i've just put it on the side there open up the skybox information and you'll have a whole load of options here that you can play with these stops is the general brightness so if we put this on 17 you'll see that it got even brighter and we can press the lightning bolt to bring that in a bit and we can put it down to maybe 13 and to save and you'll see that it's changing the general exposure of everything and yeah if you just play around with these options then you'll find you can fine tune it to how you like or perhaps you can even add a tint to it so if we go to the color here and we can go to red this is the tint that the sun itself is going to have in game and you see that it's making everything sort of pinkish color but it's way too much if you ask me so with these sort of colors you're going to want to keep nearer the sort of white range then perhaps change the color gently but if you're going for something crazy it is possible but it's just not recommended the lighter is generally better in this case just pick what's suitable for you and that's how you make your own custom skybox so anyway thanks for watching and i hope this has helped you guys out just remember that you need to set the dimensions to 8192 by 4096 you can actually set it to other values that are powers of two. It's best to stick at 8,000. I believe you can go up to double 8,192, but pick whatever works best, to be honest. You might want to go up a bit in scale to make sure you can get even better quality. And you might want to play around with the images that you find online to get the best sort of image. You see here, the best thing you can do is when you get an image open, it might look great, like this looks great, but as soon as you click plus, it starts to go a bit blurry. Anything blurry really amplifies in game. So you're going to want to make sure that when you're zooming in on an image online, that it's still pretty high res because you're going to really notice it when you're in game okay that's about it for custom skyboxes for now if you have any questions just chuck them down below in the comment section and i'll see what i can do to help you guys out and yeah throw a like if you like this subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you on the next one take care guys see you later bye